you know, you're just so desperate. You know, being sick for three weeks is one thing, three months maybe, but when it turns into three years, four years, five years, six years, you know, you lose hope. There's one moment where I'm naked in the ocean, just feeling so sick and so at the end of my ropes that I was just like trying to be one with the universe and just went like, okay, just take me. Like, I cannot live one more day with this pain. But in that same moment, I also had a flash of my three children going like, no, I mean, that'd be such a selfish move to just let go and quit. This child suffers every day, seven days a week. But it's really hard for people to understand because she forces herself, pushes to go to work. You see this beautiful picture, and yet I have her at home crying in pain, having to treat her, and it's very deceiving in a way. The symptoms of Lyme disease can be anything. You know, for Anwar, oh, he had the sinus infection all the time, a joint pain, oh, you're growing. You go through the whole system so many times until as a mom, you know, you have to follow your intuition and go like, it's not normal for a child to always have a sinus infection. We really have to look at our children from a perspective of, well, what if the doctor isn't right? David and I had a wonderful seven year relationship that was great. It's really hard to be a chronically ill person for multiple years, but it's also really hard to be the caregiver of that person. And you know, we all say things when we're hurt that we don't really mean. It's real life, and the only reason I shared it is because there is hundreds of thousands of couples that go through this, and I only have gratitude for the time that we spend together. I had so many toxins coming into my body on a daily basis, from Botox at lunchtime, or like, what was I thinking? And if I look back and think, you know, what did I really learn about is like not to be vain anymore. Like it doesn't really matter because the only thing that matters in the morning when you wake up is that you have, you know, that you're healthy and you can actually get out of bed and live life. So once I start removing all these things, I, you know, I made big strides. For me, like I truly feel that I was given this journey for a higher purpose.